Hey guys, this is Travis from iConnectivity, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a network on your computer. Um, we're going to do a wired network, and today we're specifically going to do it from the Play Audio 12, but you can do this with any of our iConnected devices that have the Ethernet port on it. Um, so this is just a simple tutorial to show you how to get this set up. So let's get jump into it. So the first thing we have to do is jump over to the audio MIDI setup. So if we go to the spotlight search right here, type in audio, you can see MIDI set setup's already showing up for you. So we're just gonna go into there. You see this little one right here that says network on it. We're gonna double click on that. Uh, if you're on an older one, there might actually like be an image in under it, uh, an older version of Mac OS. Um, but the newest version I'm on High Sierra just has the word network on it. So they're all kind of, you can see they're all kind of smaller. There's no fancy images and that kind of stuff. Going the minimalistic route. Um, so we've created, you know, disconnect that. Uh, and I'll even delete this out of here. Okay. So we're going to say there's no sessions created at all. Normally there is one created. Uh, you can see I created one earlier. But to create a new session, you're going to hit this little plus button right here under My Sessions. And you can give it whatever name you want. Uh, so you hit the checkbox that will enable the session. Uh, you click on the session and you can actually name it over here. So I can name it I Connect Session. There you go. Uh, and so it's on port five, uh, 5004. If you create a new session, it'll be 5006. So if I actually created a second session here, you would see 5006 is what shows up. So to connect a device to your session, all you have to do is look under a directory. If it's connected, um, especially if it's wired, you're gonna see it, you're gonna see it show up uh, in under the directory here. You see four ports for most devices, of course, because most of our devices send out four ethernet ports from them. And we'll show you a little bit more about that uh, another time. Uh, but for right now, you can see all the ports here. All you have to do is click on one, hit connect, and you'll see it jumped over to participants over here and it says zero milliseconds latency. Uh, if that says like three question marks, then there's a problem with the connection somehow. You might wanna look at how everything is actually connected, make sure you're ready to go. Um, and we can tell that this is actually a wired connection because I have my Wi-Fi turned off. So that is, that's pretty much it for it. Honestly, and if we want it to, I'll connect another, a second one to the second session over here. You can connect multiple to the same session. So if I want two devices, uh, two ports from the Play, uh, Play IO 12 connected here, I can also connect a third port to this. You can see both are now over there. Um, the reason for connecting multiple sessions, maybe on the same computer, is it's easy to differentiate in your DAW. Um, so if you only had like two devices, it might be easier. So I'm gonna open Ableton here. If I go to MIDI track, it's easier for me to see iConnect session and session two rather than to go iConnect session and then have to say the first device is on channel one, the second device is on channel two, so forth. Um, it's a little easier just to have them on separate sessions. Now, of course, if you have 10 devices and you only have four port, obviously you're gonna to have to uh, do a little bit more of that, that split up. Um, but that's, that's the basis of it right here. Um, if you have any questions about that, please contact us and let us know. Thanks.